All right, we're going to do a quick um, Resonate tutorial here on how to add command line stuff to the headless because it keeps coming up. So I've got the Resonate um, headless branch in, you know, installed here. Resonate headless in brackets here. I'm going to do right click manage browse local files. That will give you this, which is the location of Resonate on your computer. Different for everyone. Mine's on the H drive, which is called games. I don't really remember why. Uh, inside there, there's a headless folder. That is the folder that contains all the headless data. In the headless folder, we're going to scroll down till we find Resonate. With Resonate selected here, we're going to go ahead and hit Create Shortcut. That'll create a shortcut. We're then going to rename the shortcut to whatever command setup you're running. So, for example, let's say that you were doing, I don't know, the Force Sync Conflicting one. I'm going to do rename this to Force Sync Conflicting. And then I know what it is, and I can just leave this file here, and it will always be here, and it's good to go. This is not a tutorial on what these commands do. This is just how to put them in. Then we're going to go ahead and look at the target. We're going to hit, sorry, hit right click on here, hit properties. And then in this target field on the end here, we're going to push space and then just enter our commands. For example, force, whatever it is, screen for screen, all that won't work for headless, etc. cetera. Um, invisible for invisible, etc. Whatever you want to do, put in here. You can, of course, put in more than one. You can do, uh, you know, let's do one, two, three, four, that's not how you spell four, four, five, right? You can just keep putting them in and then you can hit apply and okay. And then whenever you double click on this shortcut, it will run that. You can also go ahead and take this and drop it onto your desktop. I don't use desktop shortcuts, so that won't even show up. But like, like say for example, you can put it down into here and then it'll be on the taskbar and you can mouse over this and it'll say, or right click it and you'll say, hey, Force sync conflicting, right? And then when you click that, it'll do that. But if you use the desktop, you could drop it there. It would be an icon. You could drop it into another folder. You could even rename it something more descriptive. For example, put force sync conflicting before Resonate, right? Because you can use the logo. And then you'll never have to remake these, like, for the rest of time. They'll just be there, and they'll be able to work for you. That's it. Bye-bye.